The Illinois Supreme Court orders the state appellate court to take another look at whether disputed evidence can be used in the Drew Peterson murder trial. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Sylvia Perez. And I'm Jose Sanders, in for Linda this morning. The former Bolingbrook police sergeant is charged in the death of his third wife, Kathleen Savio. This morning's ruling stalls Peterson's already delayed trial and leaves open the issue of just how much so-called hearsay evidence can be presented when he goes to trial. ABC 7's Ben Bradley is here now with war on this changing story. Yeah, ben. it's a complex one, but I think the headline here is that prosecutors today were thrown a life ring by the state Supreme Court, although it's not yet clear if it will be enough to save their case against Drew Peterson. At issue, nearly a dozen statements prosecutors wanted admitted as evidence against the former Bolingbroke cop. They were meant to show Peterson had a financial and emotional motive to kill his third wife, Kathleen Savio. But the statements included conversations Peterson's fourth wife, Stacy, had with others before her disappearance. It was dubbed testimony from the grave, and the Will County State's attorney handcrafted legislation in Springfield to allow it. Normally, of course, a defendant has the right to confront his accusers, but Drew's law allows hearsay testimony when it can be shown a witness's disappearance may be directly related to the testimony he or she was going to give. As you can imagine, Drew Peterson's attorneys are fighting tooth and nail to keep those statements from being heard at trial, and an appellate court ruled that the statements were out out, but it was on a technicality that Will County prosecutors missed a filing deadline. Well, this morning, the state Supreme Court ordered the appellate court to actually make a ruling. So the gate is opening again on the possibility that damning hearsay evidence may be heard at Drew Peterson's murder trial. Now, a moment ago, Peterson attorney Steve Greenberg told me that he is disappointed in this ruling. He said it's just one more example of the legal system carving out exceptions for Drew Peterson and their effort to convict him. So w bottom line, it'll probably be about a month or so before the appellate court rules on whether the hearsay statements are in. So we're looking at springtime before a trial could begin. And by then, Drew Peterson will have been locked up for nearly three years. Sylvia and Jose, these statements are key because as far as we know, there's not a whole lot of physical evidence exactly. in the trial. Right. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. Thanks. All right. Thank you, Beth.